Welcome to episode nine of Twisted Die Kitchen. My name is Sherry, and I'm so glad you're here. I'm located here in Kirkwood, Missouri, and I'm looking forward to spending some quality time with my fiber friends and my other journey friends that I have incorporated along the way. I'm looking so forward to showing you what I've got going on. It's a gorgeous winter day in February. Tomorrow is my daughter's birthday. I'm so excited about that for her. She's requested my spaghetti dinner and a dessert, which she gave me three options. So I'm not going to tell you because she might be watching and I'm going to surprise her with it. Get your coffee, tea, whatever your drink is. Come sit with me. Let's enjoy a few minutes of some good fibery talk. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hi. This portion is going to be about the rug hooking. I got a lot to tell you. I've got a lot of fun things going on. But right here, hopefully you can see... Um, around the sun but these are my little packages my little rug hooking kits that I've got ready to go for people who want to sign up for my Acadia National Park rug hooking series inside your kits will have the mat it'll have um, a colored picture as a reference it'll have different embellishments whether it be dyed um, velvets dyed roving, dyed locks, and some yarns, and some sari silks. Hope you can see that. Oh, that's much better. I'm going to turn you a little bit so that we're not in the sun. Um, but this is going to be my kit that I'm going to have three in the series. Um, we're going to have um, a Zoom meeting to discuss the projects. To discuss the complexity of these projects. These are 16 by 20 projects on a linen mat. And part of it is going to be looking at it, diving into your stash, whether it's eight size eight cuts all the way down to a size three. I want you to explore the different ways to look at an environmental type shot. This is a landscape. Um, one is a covered bridge and that's going to be um, this little package. Again, it's going to have your dyed velvets. It's going to have some different texture. Sorry about that. And it's also going to have some sari silk. Obviously, it's going to have your pattern inside here and different type of textured yarns. These little kits will be given as a set. This one's the last one. This one's going to be really involved and really um, challenging for very um, experienced rug cooking um, groups of people. I've got some wool jersey that I'm going to be incorporating, some different type of yarns. I also have a very textured um, wool piece that I think will be great for the rocks. Um, this is going to be for the different sun um, locations and some dyed locks that I had. Um, Again, with your colored mat, this is a 16 by 20. These are very involved kits. Involved 16 by 20 mat. For people who are very experienced with exploring different creative options. And like the challenge for the rug hooking. Um, I'm going to have sign-ups. The last day of February and if I don't have more than five people 
then I'll just go ahead and solve the kits as they are and not have the Zoom class. Um, but I hope you want to enjoy taking a class. Um, it's going to be once a month, so it's going to start in March, April, and May. Um, give you time to explore the mats, give you time to dive into your stash, use your stash, try to be creative with your stash and pull out those pieces that you've had that you don't know what to do with. They might blend in really well with these landscape mats. So I look forward to hearing from you. Um, I'm going to have this again on Instagram. You can reach me there. It's Twisted Die Kitchen. And let me know if you're interested in participating in this class. Um, you can also um, leave a comment below. I'll go ahead and give you the pricing for these um, mats. Um, the series of three. It's called Acadia National Park Rug Cooking Series. Looking forward to it. Until next time is spinning. now we're into the spinning portion. What I have here is two skeins that I have completed um, of my, I'm trying to get this so that the sun doesn't get to it. Um, there we go. These are singles. They are silk, merino, yak, and angora. I believe that's what these are. These are from Zia Wools, and I have these two completed. I have a third one on the bobbin, um, which I should have probably four bobbins total. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to have um, and make from these. Um, I was actually thinking about making some mitts. Um, maybe fingerless mitts that go up a little bit far up on my um, wrists and maybe if I have enough um, a hat to match so that'd be kind of cool. Um, I also have the um, my bobbins that uh, excuse me my spindles support spindles that I've been working I haven't really been doing too much with this guy. Um, the sun is just, there we go. Um, but I have worked on the different spindles from Alan Berry. And I have completed more of the spinning on my dragon egg. And you can see I'm spinning this fairly thin as well. You can see that. Oh. Okay. So I've got three more spindles um, working on them, just keeping each one to spin a little bit more and take some time with them. So what I wanted to do is show you some of the bats that I sell on my Etsy store. Right now I don't have any listed. I'm on vacation in my Etsy store. But I wanted to show you so that you could see firsthand how some of these bats look. Um, this one, I just, uh, I just think this one is gorgeous and I'm going to try to move the camera, sorry, so that you can see without the sun hitting it, but it has some nice sherbet coloring, some beautiful purples and pinks. Um, I did a little experimentation so you could see how these spin up. And here's a little textured spin. Let's see if I can, because this has locks. Um, it has merino. Here's some of the locks. Stern sewn. There we go. You can see the little locks that are there. 
This is a gorgeous four and about four ounce bat that I have that I will have ready and listed. If you're interested, please let me know. Um, here's a beautiful textured lock that I have that the majority of the locks that I have, I've dyed myself. And then here's another one. It's a beautiful orange. Again, it's more of a, a deep orange, like a pumpkin spice orange. And it's got some grays and some pinks. It's also got a little bit of yellow in and some um, bamboo in here. No sparkles. Then in the bags back here, I have another orange sherbet with some yellow and I also have some little bits in here for some added texture. Here's a cute little spin which was done on my support spindle. Isn't that pretty? Um, no, I just don't do orange. Here's a hot pink. I love this. This would have been great for Valentine's Day. This one has a lot of um, sorry silk in it. It has some merino and some bamboo. It has some locks in there. Obviously, this is just, ugh, this is stunning. It is truly a hot pink. And then here's a representation of how it could spin up if you're interested in spinning um, possibly um, a light fingering weight or um, a DK. So I have that ready in my little twisted die bag. And this one is Merino Blends and Silk Threads. This is four ounces, the hot pink. And then I have one more to show for today. And here is my beautiful blue, royal blue. I'm gonna move this one more time. It's a beautiful royal blue. It's got some turquoise and some deep burgundies. Um, this one definitely has sparkle in it. This one is Stellina Silk Merino Blends. It's about 3.2 ounce um, art bat. And I think... I thought I had a little, I guess I don't have a little sample of how this one spins up. But look at all that sparkle. Isn't that great? And it's a blue Stellina. So this one's a really pretty, pretty spin. So that's it for my um, art bats. And sorry for being off screen. Um, here is, sorry for the crinkling. Here is some of my um, red and green puni. And yes, you could have this an early spin for Christmas, but these are so, so pretty. And I have these in these little carrying case so that you can keep them nice and tidy. But these are 2.32 ounce of wool blends and sparkle. And you can see some of the, this, this has gold Stellina in it. I have another one that is um, more to the greens in the um, puni. Gotta put those back there like little worms. And then I have a blue, yeah, here's the the other Stellina. Here's the other Christmassy. More of the greens. It's 1.82 ounces of the wool blends. Sorry for the crinkle. The, the ponies are hard to show. But there's a good 
show representation of the red and greens. I have these in these travel kits primarily so that when I pack and ship, they stay nice and tidy. Here's another. This I think is just so pretty and so, so beautiful in textures. This again is the blue and red, which could go with the, um, the bat that I have, but this is a little bit deeper blue and it has some of the burgundy in it and then it has some bamboo in it. So this would be a really pretty fun spin. And this one is 2.26 ounce of Shetland and bamboo and merino. So that's kind of fun for the punies. And I have one more, which is Shetland and Polworth. And this is my, um, it's kind of like a mint green with some pink and some soft um, blends of sorry silks in it. Hopefully you can see this sun is just brutal today, but I can't complain because it's melting the snow and I'll be able to um, walk without falling um, with my dog. The green puny is 1.95 and this is Shetland and Polworth, as I mentioned. Here is that um, blue bat. It had the, that's the, um, can you see that? That's how it spins up. I think it's so pretty. So, so pretty. So that's it for my spinning portion. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in any of the bats um, or the punies, just let me know. Um, leave a comment below. I'm going to have them listed probably... In a couple of weeks, I'm changing my color themes for the background on the Etsy store. I didn't really like it, and I wanted to use the sun, excuse me, to make sure that I have natural light and you can see the coloring as best as possible. So what's coming up next is knitting. Stick with me. A few seconds before that sun comes back out, Sorry, got fuzz in my mouth. Um, so I'm going to start with the blue cardigan, which is my Sunday Knit Cardigan by Petite Knits. And this, I haven't really gotten that far on this. I really went gangbusters on it, and then I just kind of... Um, but I did separate for the sleeves, and I have a little bit uh past the sleeve if you can see that that may be an inch under the arm um but i'm really looking forward to getting down to the um card the body portion of it but this is how it's going to sit up and that's a good idea of how it's going to look when it's on the shoulder isn't that cool um, so this is, as I mentioned before, the collar rolls down so that it has a nice little stand-up collar. Hopefully you can see that. So, of course, the sun goes away when I want to show the blue, but I think that's kind of pretty. So I'll start working, rotating this in with the rest of my knits. I really like the texture and I like that design of this. Um, again, the yarn that I am using is by, excuse me, is by Knit Picks. It's called Brava. Um, it's a bulky weight. Uh, the yardage is 136 yards, 100 grams of this. So it's very, very soft. Um, I wanted something that would take me into the spring um, and then from 
spring then into the late fall. Um, I've gotten pretty far on my next sweater, and this is Caitlin Hunter's pattern. Um, so here is the neckline, here's the yoke separated for the arms. I have probably about an inch underneath the arm that I've started. I'm going to stand up so you can see a little bit better of this. So I'm to the next design portion. So here's the sleeve and here's the section for the body. As I mentioned before, um, I am going to work on the design pattern that she chose for the body. I'm not that excuse me, I'm not that good at creating new designs or um, modifying any patterns. I'm just glad if it fits <laughs> and that I don't have to rip out too much. But I really like how everything is working color-wise with this. Um, so my goal is, is to get pretty far into the body. But because this is... Um, Working with a second yarn, it takes a little bit longer to work um, the different color repeats. So hopefully that'll be further along in two weeks. Um, so I have another kind of fun project that ugh, just I wanted to have this for Super Bowl weekend, but I got the yarn. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the correct gauge, so I had to get a different um, needle tip. But here is, this is going to be really hard to show you how far along I am with this. But the um, yarn is, I'm going to move the camera, sorry. I'm going to see if I can there's a pretty there we go that's a great idea of how the coloring is on this yarn this is from Skane of mine um, found her on Instagram she also has a podcast love 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 this yarn now the pattern is this one is called Arbor Fatal Fate by Hoki with the little tassels. And then all up here is cables. So the cable patterning creates this chevron V portion in the front and the back. So I really, I love, as you know, I love cables. And this one... The construction is very different for me. The construction of this is the left and the right shoulder first. And then you work the yoke on the back. And then you come back and then you do the um, yoke for the front. So obviously I don't have very much. But it's got some cute little cables you can see them you see the cute little cables there they are there's one here's two so it's just at the beginning stages obviously and this is a lot of fun but it's very small and you have to really pay attention to what you're doing so let's see if you can see isn't it cute i love the coloring so that is um, another one that's been taking up some of my time, but it's so much fun with that color. It's just such a beautiful colorway. Here's a 
Look at that. Isn't that just so fun? I just love it. Hopefully I'll have some left over so that I can, um, sorry, sorry for the crinkles. Um, maybe I might have some extra for my granddaughter. And this is the fuchsia that I'm going to use for the tassel. Oh, that's going to be so cool. It's going to be so cool. The colorway on this is unicorn. Sorry. Unicorn. Let's see. Falling off my unicorn. I just love, love, love these colors. Let's see if I can put this. There we go. There we go. Oh, son, you're just killing me here. But look at that. Isn't that, look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? I love it. So springy. And then I'm picked up. Want to get off, oops, sorry. I want to get off of the needles. A pattern and a project that I've had on here for a very, very long time. This is for my daughter. And it is called the Motley, M-O-T-L-E-Y, by Jane Richmond. It's a real pretty scarf pattern. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little lace portion down here. Um, and I picked two yarns. They're finger weight yarns. And one is a really cool gray with these specks of red. And then the red has some deep browns almost to the blacks. So I'm going to try to finish this hopefully by the end of this month. <clears throat> but here's the project right now. It's just kind of, it's not keeping me all that, um, interested I should say but I love how it's coming turning out and then here's the the um the bottom portion with the lace and it has a real pretty little edging to it so I'm gonna have so the opposite side of this will be this deep red and that's going to be the bottom portion of the other side of this um, scarf. But I think that's real pretty. Hopefully you can see that. So that's it of the knitting portion. Um, I don't have any dream knits yet i am thinking of some additional um projects my um orange throw is about this deep not too much going on there <laughs> i told my husband i said i think we got a lot more to go on this to keep warm for the next winter so that's all i have there so I completed the rug hooking kit. I showed you what's new in the spinning section. Um, all what I'm going to be updating in the Etsy store. I'll go ahead and notify on Instagram when the Etsy store will be uploaded. Um, the second portion or the final portion of what I wanted to talk about was my journaling. And I wanted to show, this is my traveler's notebook. And this is what I use all the time. Um, it has my, um, it has my calendar in here of what I have for, every day, what I plan on doing, how I'm going to be working. And then 
after that, then I have the second um, journal. Sorry, I'm trying to get this so where I can you can see me. You know, the sun just wants to come out and play games. So this portion is kind of like a journal of different things that I've done during the day, what I want to keep track of. And then this is my podcasting notes, this one. So I write in here if I've had any struggles with uploading, editing, music, that type of thing. So what I'm showing or why I'm showing you this is because I've got my last and truly, truthfully will be my last and final um, pen, fountain pen for a long time. I've been collecting them, um, trying to find the right um, nib, the right weight, the right feel of a fountain pen. Now the sun's coming out again and I'm going to turn this. Sorry for playing games with the sun. But I'm sure you've all noticed this is my business card. Let's see. Okay, so let's try this again. So this is the last portion that I'm going to be talking about. This is my business card. It's got the orange, the turquoise, and yellow. And I mentioned to you that I've been working with some fountain pens and trying to find the fountain pen that I really enjoy. Um, each one, you're not going to know how it works or how the nib feels or how the pen exactly feels. But I saw this at an antique mall and I just had to get it. I mean, it's like it was meant to be. Look at that. Isn't that just so cool? It's a mother of pearl. This portion is the mother of pearl. And then these collar swirls are also mother pearl, but in the coloring. And it is a very heavy weight pen. The end screws on for posting, what they call posting. And this is a um, label pen. It's a medium nib. And I hope you can see the fine detail around here. Can you see that? It's just gorgeous. I love the coloring of this. I love the weight of it. The nib works so well on the paper, and I love the sound that it makes. So I'm going to cut up one of my old um, quilts. Um, it wasn't a complete quilt. It was damaged, so but I just had to have it, and of course it was orange. So I had to um, take it home, and I'm going to go ahead and make a... A pen case for it and I'm gonna slip that pen case in here so that I can go ahead and keep this pen safe and the reason why I'm doing that is because it's a heavy weight pen I do have a pen holder here but the problem is is this is heavier or excuse me thicker wider than this will hold and if I keep this out here, let's just say this was a little bit, um, the proportion fit the pen well, I'd be afraid that it would get scratched too much. So I'm going to go ahead and make a little needle um, pen case here so that I can slip that in, give myself a new um, cord here to secure that even more. And then I can take this off and put two of my pens in there. I try to have two fountain pens um, at all times with me. But that's my little 
segment. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I try to keep these on the shorter side because we're all so busy and it's just nice to take a little break from the outside world and have a little fun and see what somebody else is up to. Sorry about the lighting conditions, but I'm not sorry that the sun's out. So I hope you can bear with me on that. Um, if there's anything that you're interested in, please reach out to me on Instagram, send me a message or leave a comment below. I'd be more than happy to help answer any questions that you might have. Um, if you are interested in the rug hooking kits, the Acadia National Park, um, just leave a comment or reach out for me on Instagram. Um, I will have my um, art bats and my poonies listed on Etsy, hopefully within a couple of weeks. Um, I'm changing out the way that the um, background is and just the format of how the pictures are and how they're going to be located, how they're going to be positioned on Etsy. So again, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for coming and visiting with me. Please hit the subscribe button. Let other people know that if they want to just have a little fun and take a little breather from the outside world, please share this with someone. And as always, enjoy.